Good morning, my neighbors. Oh, the same truck is stopped at Timmy's. And it has the same light burnt out on the back. His, <laughs> it's two days in a row you didn't do your pre-trip, man. It's a livestock truck that stops you at the same time every morning for Timmy's. And he puts his four ways on, right? You park anywhere and get away with it lights. I get it. And uh, one of his park anywhere and get away with it lights isn't working. His right signal on the back of his trailer isn't working. And it wasn't working yesterday either. Still not working today. <laughs> Oops, that's why you always check your lights. Otherwise, people start noticing you're not doing your pre-trips. I do lots of my pre-trips on camera so that the whole world can see that I'm... <laughs> Just so that I have video evidence. I'm like, I checked it. Look. Whatever. How's it going, everybody? It's a new day. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. That's exciting. It's exciting today we're going up to Arbor that's exciting too remember yesterday we got the truck all hooked up and ready for this morning we will reap the benefits of that this morning there she is all ready to go Just gotta get her warmed up oh I'll turn around here throw my stuff into the passenger side there and we'll be off to Arburg before you know it look out Arburg we always put the most important things in the truck first coffee and cell phone in that order you know some people say if you drive the same truck every single day you really need to check the oil every day. Isn't it good if it was good yesterday? Probably. It's probably still good, but you uh, you don't know what happened overnight, right? You don't know if there was an oil leak. First of all, you want to look under the truck to see if there was an oil leak. But even if you don't see an oil leak, you just... I wasn't here for the past, what, 12 hours? When did I leave yesterday? More than that, 12, 13 hours? I haven't been with this truck. I don't know what happened to it or what someone did to it while I was gone, so I gotta make sure that it wasn't tampered with. I gotta make sure that no one drained the oil. Maybe they're trying to get at me or something. You know? I don't know. You don't know what could possibly happen. So, yeah, you gotta check it every day. Just make sure the oil's still good and make sure you got enough washer fluid in there. Uh, MOT here in Manitoba, they don't like it if you have. Uh, even an almost empty tank of washer fluid there. They want to see that it's like above 50%, I would say. Maybe there's an exact level they want, but I'd say just make sure you got enough in there for the day. Top it up. It's just the better, safer option. Just make sure it's full at the beginning of the day. Uh, make sure your belts aren't cracking. Make sure they're not fraying. Make sure they're not broken. Make sure they're tight. You know, and all the rest of the stuff. But yeah, you do need to check your oil every day. Even if you're on the road, and you slept in your truck, I'd always check my oil every morning just so that you have that peace of mind. When you turn over that engine, like, do it before you turn over the engine. The engine's gotta be sitting for at least, I'd say at least 10 minutes, but better longer. So before you turn it over in the morning, just check the oil, make sure that everything's okay. But you guys know this already, you guys, you guys know this. Preaching to the choir here. But look at those clouds out that way, eh? That's west, because the sun's coming up over there, so that's east. That's west. And you know what I told you about Manitoba, right? Our weather here? Whatever is that way is coming this way. Looks like we're in for a little bit of rain today. Yikes. Yeah, it's moving this way. I can see the clouds already. Should be here in about a half hour. I can smell the rain already. Well, we better get going here. I want to be comfortable inside the cab, all nice and warm already by the time it starts raining. Let's get her started up here. Don't forget. How's it going, girl? I don't know, it's darker and darker every day. I'm just gonna stand on the step here like a weirdo while I turn you over here, start her up. you are see she likes me all right in our parking spot 
Yeah, they're all here. See, they're getting their trucks ready. I felt like I was the only one here for a second. Well, it's good to get a little bit of a walk in in the morning. I parked my pickup back in my spot back there because after today I'm most likely going to be parking the semi back in its regular spot as well. Unless I know what I'm doing and I know what trailer I'm taking, then if the weather's nice, I just go hook up the day before. But in winter time, you can't do that in winter time. You have to plug your truck in overnight, otherwise you're not going to start it up in the morning. It's so cold that the engine won't turn over. You have to plug it in to keep it warm. Alrighty, shall we? Got my water bottle filled up. Get this gate to open for me, like magic. Can you imagine like 100 years ago or 150 years ago, you know, someone like comes to the future to now and they see me just push a button and this massive gate just starts moving all on its own. They'd think I was some kind of wizard. They'd think my name was Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. And off we go. Oh, I gotta adjust my mirror over there. Okay, it must have been bumped out of place when I was working around over there. One second, let's go park up over here. And that convex mirror on the bottom there. Gotta quickly uh, roll on the window, just move it over this way. How's that? Much better, much better. Actually, it's a little too far, too far. Ah. How about that? There you go. Okay. Sometimes when that door opens, it bumps that bottom mirror. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna readjust it. Thought I was being careful, but eh. I cleaned the inside of these windows yesterday, finally. Two hours north. Here we come. Prepare yourselves, Arberg. Need that fresh air. It started to rain just a little bit, but it seems like those dark clouds kind of dispersed. They're not as dark now, or maybe because the sun is higher, I don't know. Ed. He's a good guy. One of my friends at work. He also lives uh, quite a ways away and he has to commute in quite a ways every day. All right, I'm gonna be a nice guy and I'm gonna wait for you, okay? Make sure you say thank you, okay? I wanna hear, I wanna say, I want you to hear, I wanna hear you say thank you. Okay, a little car. Didn't even look at me. You know, I could have cut you off if I wanted to, but I decided to be a nice guy. No one's grateful. <laughs> All right, now I gotta wait for this left lane to have an opening. And then I gotta sneak into rush hour traffic here. I think after this car. Yeah, that car's in the right lane. Okay, we will take the left lane and put our four-way hazard, don't hit me lights on. They're also used as the park anywhere and get away with it lights, but uh, for now, they'll be the please don't hit me lights. I'm going slow. And as soon as I can, I'll cut into that right lane. But there's a lot of traffic. Everybody's going to work at the same time. in the right lane.
these wheels were all seized again. This should work a lot better than that old lubricant we were using before. It'll last longer too. See, it foams up and gets in all the nooks and crannies. All right, this thing was all seized up again. It didn't want to open. I had to have uh, one of the strippers here help me open it up and it usually runs very smoothly, but I greased this thing, what, a week ago? And it was already, already all seized up. So now we're using bull snot on it. Let's see how it closes. If I can close it by myself, there's already a big improvement. Smooth like butter. So it works great. Next time we see this trailer in the yard, we're gonna see if it's still working great. I have a feeling it will be because it's a, it's a different texture of lubricant. I can already tell it's gonna last a lot longer. Well, the rest, hey, stay. The rest of my day is gonna look pretty uh, different, actually. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a, a relaxing cruise in the pickup, in the work pickup, which it happens to be a Chevy Silverado. So, thank God, we're gonna be okay. One of the parts I picked up in Arburg today needs to go to Morden, but it turns out it's only 10 pounds and I can carry it. So they didn't want me to go all the way to Morden with the big truck for 10 pounds. So uh, we put it in the pickup truck. It fit in the back seat. And I'm going to take the pickup truck to Morden. That's my part that I have to deliver. Leather seats. Yeah, the boss got himself a new... Uh, uh, high Country, a couple of years ago, Chevrolet High Country, which is the uh, the best Silverado you can get, and this one became the the work truck. Nice, and delivery done. We don't always deliver in big trucks. Or how should I say it? When I'm not delivering in the big truck, I'm delivering in the small truck. This is actually a really nice, really nice Silverado. Has all the bells and whistles, heated seats, uh, the extended cab, sunroof. What else did I figure out here? Oh yeah, look at this. This scared me before. I pressed this button by accident. Watch my mirrors. I was just driving down the highway, did, did, and I pushed this button. And all I saw out of the corner of my eye was my mirror, I guess something moving in my mirror, and I thought someone was coming up beside me and was gonna hit me. Freaked me out. No, this thing's just got fancy power mirrors. Fancy schmancy. Leather seats. It just hasn't been maintained that well, or the cosmetics haven't been maintained that well, but hey, it's a work truck now, right? It's not the boss's truck anymore, now it's a work truck. It is kind of sad to see. It's got 298,757 kilometers on it. That's that's about 300,000 kilometers. What is that? That's a uh, mile, 1. 160, 170,000 miles, something like, I don't know. It's got nice exhaust on it still, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a work truck, it's all dirty inside here, getting old. But uh, yeah, heated seats, power everything, power seats, power steering, power pedals, I mean. Like you can move the pedals closer or further away. Yeah, back when this truck was brand new, this was a classy truck, yeah. But like I said uh, earlier, the boss went and got a new Silverado and it's a Silverado High Country. He's got it lifted, leveling kit, as far as I know it's lifted, it looks lifted, leveling kit for sure. Got aftermarket rims on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful truck. That's a much more familiar dash, eh? <laughs> so that was a 2012, that old Silverado. This one's a 2016. Time to go home. I'm leaving the truck right here. I'm hooked up to the trailer I'm gonna be pulling tomorrow. It's another roll tight. We're going up to Arburg again. And uh, they have one pallet loaded on there that I needed to take up with me. 
So it was ready to go here out in the open in the yard. I'll be out of here before most people get here tomorrow anyways, or just as they're getting here anyways. Uh, so it'll be fine right here. So goodbye. We'll see you in your fancy rust tomorrow. Another day in the books, in history. They shall speak of this day never. It wasn't really that significant. There was nothing really big going on. There's another day bringing stuff from point A to point B. Picking up stuff over there, bringing it over here, bringing stuff from here to there. There. Nothing really for the, the history books to record of, but there will be this vlog. And who knows how long this vlog will last on the internet. It might be there for hundreds of years, thousands of years in the future, or it may just go down the memory hole. I don't know, but you're watching it, so that, that's exciting. <laughs>